This is a Fox News alert. Just moments ago, police in Washington state releasing surveillance photos of two suspects in the fatal beating of a World War II veteran who was wounded in the Battle of Okinawa. The murder victim, 88-year-old Delbert Belton. Spokane, Washington police say two teens beat him to death last night. They attacked Belton in the parking lot of an ice arena. Officers found the victim in his car. He had serious head injuries and later died. Police are now looking for two suspects. Anyone with information on this crime is asked to call police. We're going to bring you more on this breaking news story as we get it. This is a Fox News alert. We have new information on the breaking news we reported earlier. Police looking for two suspects in the fatal beating of a World War II veteran. Reporter Dylan Wallenhouse joins us. Dylan, what's the latest? Hey, Greta. Well, good evening. Uh, yeah, the latest is the police are still looking for these two suspects. Uh, you know, they have a description, a uh, brief description, uh, two black males, teens. Um, don't know exactly what the motive is. Police uh, haven't really told us much as far as the motive. It seems to be a random beating. Uh, there has been some speculation that it was a possible robbery. But, uh, yeah, as you mentioned, this is an 88-year-old uh, World War II veteran. He was wounded in Okinawa. Um, during the war, and he spent most of his life in Spokane uh, working on cars and talked to his friends and family. And uh, obviously, they're pretty uh, shaken up about this because it appears it was just a completely uh, random uh, beating last night, and he ended up dying in the hospital uh, early this morning. All right, well, it's, everyone's going to be talking about this tomorrow, so might as well talk about it tonight. Two black men on an elderly uh, World War II vet who was shot at Okinawa or injured at Okinawa. Um, is there any sort of so, I mean, I, I guess there's a difference between random and racially motivated. Is there any piece of information that leads us in either direction? There isn't. And, uh, you know, the story is uh, young because it did happen last night. Uh, police are trying to get information out uh, throughout the day and this morning. But uh, there is no evidence at this point to indicate that it is racially motivated. Uh, there, like I said, there has been some speculation of possible robbery motive, but uh, yeah, just to kind of hammer that home, nothing uh, at this point appears to be uh, uh, racially motivated. Well, it, uh, it certainly is terrible, the poor, uh, the poor man. Um, and what was he doing there? Does he shoot pool there or something? Isn't that what he's going to do? It's one of his hobbies? Right, yeah. We were talking with some of his friends and the bartender at the Eagles Lodge there. Um, and, you know, uh, Spokane is a big veterans community, so it's a place where, you know, veterans and the elderly folks go and hang out and um, yeah, it was one of his hobbies. He was going up there uh, shooting some pool that night, meeting a friend, um, and that's what he was doing. He was, uh, you know, waiting in his car before he even went in to go shoot pool, and uh, this, is, uh, this is when it happened, before you even went inside. Thank you very much for joining us, and we're going to continue to get uh, more information on, on this uh, terrible news out of the uh, state of Washington. Thanks, sir. Um, you know, if I had a son, he'd look like...